Hey everyone, Nick here. Welcome back to my channel. When people talk about the market going up or down on a given day, they are typically talking about the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones Industrial Average. These are two different stock market indices. In this video, I'm going to explain how these indices are different and which is a better representation of the US stock market. A stock market index is just a group of companies. The S&P 500 index tracks the performance of 500 of the largest companies in the US stock market. The Dow, short for Dow Jones Industrial Average, is composed of 30 prominent US companies. Both the S&P 500 and the Dow are managed by a company called S&P Global. The companies in both of these indices are selected by a committee. Most indices use certain criteria to select the companies included in their index. These criteria can be dozens of factors like the sector, the total market capitalization or value, or how profitable the company is. Both the S&P and Dow have certain criteria they apply. I'm not going to cover these details in this video because the number of companies and the selection criteria are not the major difference between these two indices. You can learn more about the selection criteria by reading the fact sheet and methodology on S&P Global's website. I'll put a link to these below. Before we get to the major difference, I just want to thank you for watching. I did my best to make this video valuable for you. All I ask is that you smash the like button to support free financial education. If you want to learn more about investing and financial independence, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future content. The most significant difference between the S&P 500 and the Dow is in how the indices are weighted. In other words, the percentage of the index assigned to each company. To understand this better, we're going to construct our own index. To keep it simple, we'll use just four companies, Google, JP Morgan, McDonald's, and Ford. The most naive way for weighting our index would just be to put 25% in each company. This is what's called an equal weighted index. It's very simple, but it isn't a great way to allocate capital. Why should we invest equal amounts in every company? Alternatively, we could use the price of the stock. Right now, the prices of these stocks rounded to the nearest dollar are Google at $2,513, JP Morgan at $160, McDonald's at $237, and Ford at $15. This would result in 85.91% allocated to Google, 5.47% to JP Morgan, 8.1% to McDonald's, and 0.51% to Ford. This is what's called a price-weighted index. This is how the Dow Jones Industrial Average is calculated. There is at least some methodology here versus just putting an equal amount in each company, but this is still a flawed approach. The stock price of a company doesn't really mean anything. Some companies issue more shares than others, sometimes they do share splits, and there are other ways that cause the stock price of a company be different from one to the next. This isn't a good way to decide how to allocate capital. A better way is by using the total value of the company, also known as the market capitalization. This is simply the number of shares times the price per share. The market capitalization of Google is currently $1.66 trillion. JP Morgan's is 485 billion, McDonald's is 177 billion, and Ford's is 60 billion. Using the market cap would result in 69.69% to Google, 20.36% to JP Morgan, 7.43% to McDonald's, and 2.52% to Ford. This is how the S&P 500 weighs companies in the index. It is a market capitalization weighted index. Here is a visualization 
of the S&P 500 index, with the size of each box corresponding to the market cap or weight of that company in the index. These are the three most common approaches to weighting companies in an index, the equal weighted, the price weighted, and the market cap weighted. In my opinion, market cap weighted better represents the US market. I think the S&P 500 is far better than the Dow for this reason. The great thing about the market cap approach is it reflects the aggregate opinion of all investors in the market. I'll be honest, I am not interested in valuing individual countries, sectors, or companies. I don't want to spend my nights and weekends reading 100-page PDFs, performing due diligence to make sure reported financials make sense, following the industry, the latest news, and so on. I will gladly let everyone else in the market do it for me. This is what you get when you invest based on the market cap of companies. There are many other market cap weighted indices out there. The S&P 500 is just the most popular. I made another video comparing the S&P 500 versus the total market index. I'll link that video up here and below. I also made a video comparing the S&P 500 to the NASDAQ 100 index, which I'll also link up here and below. These comparisons get into more details on the selection criteria and the composition of these indices. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video helps you better understand how indices are constructed. Don't forget to smash the like button if you got value and subscribe so you don't miss future content. Later.